How's it going everybody? My name is Warner Fields with Fields of Profit. I'm a six-figure Amazon seller and full-time student and in today's video we're going to be looking at a product that I used to sell on Amazon.com um, and this product was able to make me about $300 a month by itself uh, so you can see how easy it is to kind of compound those profits. Um, but I'm, going to be, I'm going to be revealing that product to you, showing you how I found it and then showing you how you can find more products just like that, um, just like I do every day to keep building my business that I'm able to live off of. Um, so before we do that, if, I, if you could subscribe to the channel, I'm going to be helping out your business so if you could help mine out, let's make this a trade. Let's jump into it. So I've opened up my inventory lab screenshot of this product. I started selling it in late April and it sold out kind of in the middle of June this year. Um, and these are all sales just to prove to you that I did sell this product. Um, I sold I sold it on about 26% average profit, which is above average, so don't expect this consistently. Um, but these winners are out here. Um, I have more just like this currently in stock. Um, you can find them just with this method I'm about to show you. Uh, so I found this product on walmart.com. As you can see, the price has gone up, but it's just this simple little um, nutrition paste for dogs. Um, I found it on walmart.com. Um, and when I was selling it, I was selling it for about $21 a unit. Uh, so we can go back into June uh, just to prove that I was selling it here. Um, so the buy box was actually right at this $20 price point um, in May, but we can go back and see that I was selling it for $21 a unit. So you don't always need to consider that this price is where it's actually gonna sell. If you have good metrics and you're in stock and you have products all over the country in several different warehouses, um, you are able to sell those products at the price above the floor price. Um, just as long as your price is relatively competitive, you can actually get some extra profit out of those products. Uh, it's just kind of a guessing game to figure out where it's gonna sell, where it's not gonna sell. That's where I like to use my repricer, because my repricer goes in and tests that automatically. Um, and it was able to capture the buy box for me at this 21 price point um, for a little bit. It sold closer to 22 for a couple of these sales. So that repricer was constantly moving around selling this product. Um, but the way I found this product was with a software called Tactical Arbitrage. Um, I'm going to show you the exact process for how I found this product. Um, this one was really simple. Um, a lot of times you're going to have to get complicated, type in some coupons, all that good stuff. I have videos on how you can kind of get in depth with, on, with Tactical Arbitrage. Um, those are going to be kind of up there if you want to check that out. Um, but to go ahead and start a simple Tactical Arbitrage search, all you have to do is go to Product Search. Um, you're going to go to the website you want to look at. In this case, I was getting it from Walmart. Um, and then you can use this easy bulk feature uh, right here. Um, and what this does is it kind of pulls um, just the whole catalog of products that that store is selling um, and it pulls it into Tactical Arbitrage. And what Tactical Arbitrage does is it scans these items and puts it against the price that Amazon is selling it for, or rather uh, third party sellers are selling them for on Amazon. Um, so right now I've went ahead and selected all of beauty. So this is going to be every beauty product that Walmart offers to sell online. Um, we're going to go down here and we're going to kind of adjust the prices a little bit. Um, sorry, we're going to have to press add to bulk here real quick. Just one little step. So now we've got all those products in there and we're ready to search them. Um, but we can also add this one less, last extra step to try to find some extra profitability in here. Um, Walmart, you're usually not going to find any coupons. This is where you would put um, coupon codes or anything you're finding if you're sourcing from other stores. Um, some of the stores I like to use are Vitacost, Walgreens, um, what else we got? We got uh, iHerb. Those are three of my favorite stores for, for you guys to check out. If you want a little nugget there, they have a lot of good coupon deals. Um, but in this case, there's not going to be any coupons from Walmart. But Walmart does have a credit card, which allows you to get 5% cash back versus the usual uh, 1% to 2% that you're going to get from credit cards. And you can also use Rakuten um, to kind of get cash back in certain categories on Walmart. But for now, we're just going to consider 5% cash back. And we're just going to click search. And so this is going to take a little bit because it's searching through thousands of products um, and this is going to come back to us later um, whenever it's done. It looks like it's already found three products. Um, if we want to go ahead and look at the data here, I can show you what it looks like if any of these meet my filters. It doesn't look like any of these meet my filters, um, but I've got a couple, I've got a different search that we can go through and I can kind of show you my process for how I would find one of these products that's going to find, help you make that $300 a month just off that one product like this dog paste helped me make. So you're going to look, you're going to source through your tactical arbitrage data. Um, we're going to start by looking at the Keepa graph. Um, we're looking for, at least I'm looking for fast sales, um, which is the Keepa graph is going to be dropping consistently. So this one, the drops are a little slow, so I don't really like that. I'm going to pass unless the profit is really high. In this case, it looks like the ROI is 91%, so it might be worth going ahead and checking it out. So you're just going to click through those listings if everything looks good to you. We've got the same product. Um, let's make sure the product is the same on on Amazon. 
um, it looks like it is pretty similar here um, we've got it for $21 here we've got it for 35 over here so you can see immediately just how powerful it is to kind of see these price differentials um, but it comes down to the data whether or not you want to go ahead and buy it so it looks like it doesn't really sell unless the product the price is kind of down here um, it looks like it was selling every now and then for about forty two dollars um, so we could consider this maybe um, where we're paying twenty two dollars for it and right now we're only making twenty five so it's really not worth it given the the slow volume it's kind of risky um, but we're gonna move on here uh, we're gonna try to find a product where um, we're gonna go down that checklist so we're looking for fast sales on the keep -a -graph. and then next we're going to um, look and make sure that the price is consistent so right here you can see this blue line is the buy box which is the price that the um, item sells for so we want that buy box price to be consistent so that we can know to consistently uh, what to expect out of that listing so we can go ahead and check this one out because it looks like we've got a consistent buy box here and this um, this purple here means that tactical arbitrage knows it's a multi-pack um, and so it's kind of running the profit based on it already being a multi-pack uh, so we're going to look at it here. We've got it for $24.40 here, and we've got these for $10 a unit, or $5 a unit, so it's going to be $10 for that multi-pack. We're going to check the ounce count, so it looks like it's 16 ounces. This is also 16 ounces. Um, so we can go ahead and run the profit calculation at this point. So we're going to use FBA Calculator. This is a free Chrome extension if you want to check it out. Um, we're going to plug in $24 here. And then we're going to plug in that $10 we would be paying, plus your sales tax, minus, minus 10%, which is pretty high. So for me, I would be making um, $368 a unit, which isn't too bad. Um, but we're going to go ahead and dive in and see if we can maybe find um, maybe a coupon offer or anything. So to do that, we're going to use um, a Chrome extension called Honey. I'm sure you've used that before. I'm just going to add as many of these to my cart as I can. We're going to go to the cart. And then I've actually already applied a coupon um, on Vitacost, which is Earth Diet. Looks like you're getting 10% off of your order. So for me, I'm basically not having to pay sales tax anymore. So that kind of gives me my dollar back. Um, so at this point, we can go ahead and run that profit calculation again, except now we know we're going to be paying $1 less than we were before. So that makes our product cost $10. And so then that boosts this product up to a $5 a unit profit. Um, so then the question you're going to be asking is, what do I or how many of these do I need to buy so the first thing the first thing you want to do always is go ahead and test buy um, your units but you can also kind of estimate how many is going to sell I use the Jungle Scout Chrome extension to estimate the number of sales um, it's telling me that this sells 82 times and there's nine sellers but that doesn't mean all nine sellers are necessarily competitive sellers meaning that the sellers are um, priced at the right point um, competitively to go ahead and capture the buy box so it looks like all of these sellers, um, we've got one, two, three, probably three sellers that I would call competitive. Well, here's two, or we've got we've got five um, that are within like twenty-five dollars, which I would call the competitive price range. So we would be six. So then you would do eighty-two divided by six, which is uh, let's see, eighty-two divided by six is thirteen, maybe fourteen. Um, so you would go ahead and order uh, about 30 units of this. You could send in 15 units of this product, which would be 30 bottles. So we would order 30 bottles. Um, one little nugget I'll sh share with you is that if you are sending this into Amazon, you're sometimes going to get split shipments if you send small quantities of something. So I would actually buy 18 units of that item. Where I That's where I kind of find the cutoff, where it no longer sends me split shipments, and I can all send it to one warehouse and save money on my shipping costs. So I would actually buy 36 units of of this product to go ahead and send in 18 units of that ASIN. Um, so you're going to be sending in 18 two packs um, wrapped up in a poly bag and slapped with an FN SKU label. Um, sounds like a complicated process, but there's lots of other free information online you can find about how to do that. Um, and I actually found this lead live with you guys. Uh, I'd already planned this lead just in case I wasn't able to find anything. So you've got two leads for free in this video. Um, this one, we're going to go ahead and check out the three month. It looks like the price is kind of fluctuating on this one, um, but the buy box kind of comes back to this $27 price point over and over. But you could get really do volume at kind of 25. So we're going to be running it here at 27. Um, the buy cost on this. Is going to be uh, it's going to be 1350 um, plus your sales tax so it might not be as profitable for you um, but in this case this product is going to be um, making you about 450 a unit and this is just one product so it's nice that you don't have to bundle it you will have to still put it in a poly bag um, but this fact that you're making almost five dollars profit uh, makes it not as bad that you're gonna have to spend that five five or so cents on a poly bag 
Um, uh, and we can go ahead and run through how many this would sell. So it's telling me it sells 271 times a month. Um, and we have, let's see how many sellers we have. We have four sellers, um, but it doesn't look like any of them are FBA sellers. Or we've got, it actually looks like we have a couple. So the buy box is merchant fulfilled right now, but there are two FBA sellers on here. So we would go ahead and hop on um, with we could jump we could realistically expect to sell um, probably 50 to 100 units depending on how this buy box share works out um, of this whole product but again you're going to want to do a test buy because a lot of those sales might be on these other listings so you'll have to figure out what the real sales volume of this listing is um, there's some other ways you can go ahead and check the sales per variation on a listing that's a little more advanced um, that video is also going to be up here if you want to check that out um, but there's two simple leads for you how I found that product so I hope you found this video useful. If you want to go ahead and check out Tactical Arbitrage and keep finding these products for yourself, there's going to be a link down below. Um, use my promo code and that's going to give you a 10-day free trial. Go ahead and follow my, my Twitter, my TikTok, all that good stuff. I like to uh, kind of talk to you guys more personally there. Um, it's just an easier way to get more uh, consistent little nuggets. Um, but that's going to do it for this video. If you guys could like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff, that's going to help me out with the algorithm. Uh, but thanks for watching. See you next time.